What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back here again with another video. So we're gonna check out Die Hard WWE fans have lost faith by none other than WrestleMania. I wonder why. I wonder why some of the Die Hard fans have now started to, uh, you know, look at WWE with a, a side eye. The recent releases of all these wrestlers, all these talents, it 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 begs the question: What is really going on? backstage what is going on with management why are all these wrestlers being released because of budget cuts now i know there have been reports of some individuals not uh, getting a vaccine and that's why they were released but at the end of the day I, I feel like there is a way to you know work around that you know i feel like there is a way if that person doesn't that person chooses not to get the vaccine which every person has a right to choose to get it or not there should be a way to at least work around it where maybe they have to you know take the you know constantly take COVID tests you know what i'm saying before and after every show um maybe they have to you know saying quarantine themselves as much or you know they're not they can't be around as many people as as other people that are vaccinated granted you can be vaccinated and still catch it so it's not a a for sure method of being vaccinated means you won't catch it so i just think there's ways that this this could have been worked out and the fact that they were just released off that well well since you're not vaccinated we're just going to release you because of and we're going to say budget cuts like i think that's 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 kind of messed up it's messed up for any company to do that you know, if they're not even trying to work with you to figure out a way to, you know, make the situation work, because these ain't just some no names. I mean, granted, some of these people that were released, uh, they could have been potential main event players if WWE would have pushed them correctly. But I don't want to go into the rant too much. I want to check this video out, man. That's just some of my thoughts and opinions. on. I think it could have been handled so much better than just releasing people and saying it's for budget cuts. But. Let's get right into this video, man. Appreciate all the love and support. Road to 60K. Let's do this. To it releasing promising and popular stars like Karrion Cross and Keith Lee. Even more shocking is the WWE's indifferent attitude towards building new stars who, by all accounts, should have become main eventers. This is what I was saying on my NXT uh, talent going to the main roster not being booked correctly video. Some of y'all felt like... Oh, NXT is a different brand, so, you know, it's not going to be as effective on the main roster. No, we know NXT is pretty much their developmental side of things to get wrestlers ready for the main roster. What's the point of getting them ready for the main roster if you're not even going to try to utilize them correctly? Join us now as WrestleMania looks at even why diehard fans have lost all faith in WWE. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling Shout videos channel, and follow man. us on Facebook Link to for this exclusive video will be lists. In the description down below. So subscribe to Let's Wrestling. He makes some pretty good time content. Glad I found this channel. Now it seems that there's been a breaking point for fans. Now the WWE's recent releases aren't surprising. As we reported earlier this year, more releases were expected. For instance, it's safe to say that fans weren't surprised to see Lindsay Dorado or Grand Metal League, and especially in light of their rumored mm -hmm. request for their release. But what is surprising is that the WWE released fan favorites like Keith Lee, Karrion Cross, and Scarlett Bordeaux, popular wrestlers who weren't yep. even given time to succeed. Nope. These wrestlers exemplified the WWE's universe's continued frustrations with the promotion, frustrations which have pushed fans over the edge. This Cross, not to mention his manager Scarlett, and Keith Lee are just the latest in some of the mystifying moves by the WWE this year. Even the most die-hard of WWE fans have been puzzled by the releases of superstars such as Bray Wyatt and Braun Strowman, Same. a situation which seems to confirm that no one is safe, regardless of their popularity or their spot in the WWE hierarchy, and that canning a wrestler may be the most creative thing that WWE can come up with. Now, there are some puzzling problems, as fans' frustrations are obvious from the decline in ratings and the WWE's failure to build its ratings off successful gimmicks like the heel Roman Reigns. Mm -hmm. Things seem to boil down to two things. Number one, the WWE setting characters up to fail, and number two, Mr. McMahon's belief that only he knows what the fans like and 
and that is the problem. I'm not saying all the fans, like you know, know what's 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 best for the business, what's best for the company. But that sometimes you have to listen to the fans because they are the ones that are pretty much paying for the product at this point. I wouldn't say have to, but you should. Let me say that. You don't have to listen to the fans, but you should listen to the fans in certain moments. You can tell when someone wants to see somebody, you know, out there really doing well. You can tell by their interaction. And, of course, us fans, we can be very fickle. This is true. But at the same time, I think that's a product is partly is part of the product of WWE's booking how they book things because at the end of the day they book situations wishy washy. One minute this person's over, next minute minute this person's not over. One minute this person can get a good win, next minute this person can't get a win, and it's like it doesn't make sense if you're trying to build up somebody as the next big thing, the next star, and they can't get no serious momentum going because you don't think wins and losses matter. That's the problem with WWE. To them, wins and losses are indifferent, and and it doesn't lead to characters really getting over like they should because they don't take them as seriously, so why should we take them as seriously? And want, even if they don't know it, First, let's look at the McMahon mindset. Now, we produced several videos examining the WWE's failures in producing interesting stars, so we won't repeat the same content in detail. But a big part of the problem is Vince McMahon's idea that he's the only person who truly understands yes. what interests fans. No. That is why so many wrestlers have soared in NXT only to crash during their time on the main roster. Things reached their ultimate end when McMahon took control of NXT and rechristened it NXT 2.0 with the show focusing on young stars with big physiques. No matter how popular or successful a wrestler has been on NXT, Vince McMahon always seems to assess them and or change them to fit his own vision. Yep. But are they setting new stars up to fail? Mm. Looking at the slew of NXT stars who have fizzled on the main roster leads fans to think about the WWE is setting them up to fail. What often happens is that the WWE takes an established character and gives them a new gimmick or look. Yep. And as fans know, wrestlers have traditionally been repackaged when they begin to get stale and or capitalize on a new trend in wrestling. Far too often, however, the WWE takes characters and repackages them because they have no idea what to do with The Bearcat Lee, that's cringe. It doesn't... Just call him Keith Lee. Why the fuck are we calling him Keith Bearcat Lee? What the fuck? That's dumb. Whoever thought that up, Vince or anybody else in the back, what do you know? No. Just call him Keith Lee. It works. The fuck? Keith Bearcat. Oh, that shit crazy. With them, regardless of their past success. Further complicating things is the WWE's lack of follow up after it modifies its wrestlers. Let's look at two examples, including three wrestlers who were recently released Exhibit A, Keith Lee. Keith Lee quickly made a Zillow has more listings than any other online real estate company, and I intend to imagine myself in all of them. Ah, uh, man. WWE, man. This entrepreneur brand logo was done you by a top so freelancer and five wrestlers. Is simply yet you. Wow. You don't know what to do with him. A name for himself in NXT with the Limitless One's size and strength impressing fans, but yes. his agility flooring them. Lee's appearance at the 2019 Survivor Series had fans dying to know when he would debut on the main roster. Thank you. The cr pop he got when he was standing face to face to Roman. The pop he got when he was standing face to face to Brock Lesnar in the middle of the ring at the Royal Rumble. Come on, bro. People want to see it. They don't care about his size. They know he's a good in-ring worker and he comes off believable. Jesus. Roster, and when he debuted in 2020, it seemed like the WWE was going to push him to the moon, giving Lee a big pay-per-view win over Randy Orton at Payback. Yeah! I mean, what a start. However, Lee's push stalled as the WWE couldn't seem to figure out a spot for him, despite the fans getting behind him and Lee providing impressive performances. After a lengthy absence due to a COVID-19 related illness, Lee's return was bungled as the WWE put him largely in dark matches, denying Raw a much needed main eventer. When Lee did show up, he often lost, a poor way of booking anyone. The WWE then repackaged Lee as Bearcat Lee, and while the WWE may have felt Lee needed something to jumpstart his career after a lengthy absence, they never gave him any time to get over, failing to create any significant storyline and axing him soon after. Exhibit B, Karrion Cross oh, and Scarlett man. Bordeaux. 
Ugh. Standing six foot four and weighing 265 pounds, Karrion Cross seemed like a perfect fit for the big yes. man world of the WWE. After recovering from a separated shoulder, Cross returned towards the end of 2020, showing his dominance and regaining the NXT Championship mm -hmm. at April 2021's NXT TakeOver. Booked as a monster heel, yep. Cross's pairing with the sultry Scarlet reminded fans of wrestling's power couples such as Randy Savage and Elizabeth, mm -hmm. Triple H and Stephanie McMahon, and even Edge and Lita. Fans were eager to see Cross debut on the main roster as they wondered how long it would take the fearsome fighter to win a world championship and who he would squash on his way to the top. Yes. Sadly, and even more sad because no one was surprised, the WWE went with its ever-reliable playbook for modifying a wrestler who needs no change. No change. First, it had Cross lose his debut match on Raw to Jeff Hardy, a former main eventer whose role has largely been over to put over other talent. Second, the WWE seemed to split Cross and Scarlet up. Initially, fans thought the WWE might bring Scarlett in after a few weeks in order to solidify her importance in motivating Cross. But that didn't happen and fans are still baffled as to why such an important part of Cross's oh, act no. was taken away. Finally, the WWE saddled Cross with a new outfit that can only be described as a leftover concept art from the classic 80s tag team Demolition. Yeah. I mean, even Cross trashed his own helmet. Cross was effectively neutered, with fans having no reason to get behind a wrestler who went from dominant on NXT to docile on Raw. Yep. Even Hall of Famer Mick Foley was mm -hmm. astonished by the WWE's handling of Cross on Raw. I think younger talent sees the way that development characters are cut or left by the wayside, or in the case of Karrion Cross, greatly watered down and even made a joke of when they debut on the main roster. If it's not broke, don't fix it. This is what I was saying in my video. What's the point of changing a character in it, their, de their development in NXT? And it works. And people are telling me, oh, it's not going to work on the main roster. How? How does it not work on the main roster when you don't even try it? What? Are you? There ain't no way you can tell me Karrion Cross and his girl Scarlett going out with the theme music, with the smoke, with the pyro. You know, going off, not getting over. He'll be a dominant heel. What are we talking about? Keith Lee didn't need a change. Just keep booking him the same. Jesus fucking Christ.